Right, welcome to a new video. I thought I'd quickly just talk through a new bit of kit I've got, and that is um, a bait boat. I've not owned a bait boat before. I've not really used one very much either. Actually, I don't think I have since actually owning one myself. Not properly anyway, but um, I decided, or me and Hugh both decided, to um, get ourselves a bait boat. Reason being, I've got a couple of friends that I've got, um, they've used them to um, pretty good effect, to be fair, on a few local waters. Places that are generally quite small, quite intimate, and being a little bit stealthy, being able to get in sort of underneath overhanging trees, tight little spots, places it's pretty much impossible to cast to. Um, they've been sort of picking off some, some decent fish. And so we decided to go in halves on a boat and um, see how we got on with it. Now, I didn't want to go spend a load of money. At the end of the day, you can spend an absolute fortune on a bait boat. And to be honest, we didn't know how much we were really going to use one. So we wanted to get something pretty cheap. Now, we didn't want to just buy a rubbish boat because a lot of the cheap ones are really bad. They're very poor, they've got a lot of bad reviews. But I started to take note of a company called Future Carpin that had um, started to release some much cheaper bait boats. Um, they bought out one called the um, Actor, Actor Bait Boat. And it's basically an entry level, small water little boat that you could um, carry around. It's very, very lightweight and um, very easy to use. So we decided to get one. And here it is. Now, as you can see, it's extremely small, extremely lightweight. It doesn't take too much space up on your barrow. You could easily put it in a rucksack and carry it on your back. Um, but it's actually a lovely little bit of kit. Now, we used this first down at Top of Manor Fisheries. Um, we did the YouTube bloggers match where um, we had about seven or eight fish and they all come using the bait boat. We were basically boating across, fishing really tight to a far bank where um, we wouldn't have really been able to cast across. Possibly we could have, but it might have taken a few goes. And what we were doing was basically dropping a solid bag into um, the hopper and basically driving it across to the um, far side and then letting it go when jobs are good and it was um, bang on a spot essentially. But um, yeah, it's, it's a lovely little bit kit, really cheap. Um, basically, it's about £180. Um, we ended up getting a spare battery, so it's about 200 quid. You can get a bag and everything for it as well, but we didn't bother. We just got a spare battery and um, just the boat itself. And to be fair, so far, I've not needed to use any other batteries. Two batteries have been really good. We did 48 hours at Tobba Manor, constantly redoing the rods, and we only used one battery. So it, it really sort of lasts just on one battery, to be honest. So it is a, oh, hello. It is a, a lo lovely little bit of kit. Like I said, it's really small, really compact, does the job. Um, it's got two hoppers. As you can see, it's got one central hopper and then it's got one on the back. So um, you can, well, you could potentially take two rods out with it. I probably wouldn't recommend it because you might end up getting a few issues crossing lines, but what we were doing was basically putting the um, solid bags in the central hopper, putting a little bit of pellet on, on the bottom, and then obviously dropping the bag straight down. Um, today, I'm fishing for pike, and the central hopper is not really big enough for a dead bait. So what I've been doing is I've been laying the um, lead and the dead bait in the back, and then just slide, basically it's just sliding straight out of the back hopper. I'm not using huge baits today, I'm using quite small baits, things like smelt, so they're not too big, and it's been working really well for that. Um, I've not used it at mega range, I think today I've probably gone 120, maybe 130, it's hard to tell really, to be honest, but um, it's, it's supposedly meant to go about 300 meters, I think. I don't know if I've got the confidence in it yet to be able to drive it that far, but it's nice to know you can take it out a few hundred yards and um, you should be able to get her back. But um, it's got some decent power, goes out nice and quick. I wouldn't recommend using it in choppy water. It is a small boat. It could potentially get capsized. It has got the um, the twin hole, like a catamaran style, to give it a little bit more support and balance in the water. But to be honest, it's a small boat. It sits quite low. And I do think in a chop, you'd likely get water coming over it and possibly causing it to um, take on water and might drag it down, I, I don't know. But so far, so good for me. I do really recommend it. It's a lovely little bit of kit very cheap, very easy to use. It's got a simple little one hand 
remote so basically you can hold the remote in one hand the rod in the other so it means you can feather the line as it's going out to keep it nice and tight to the boat and you can easily control it with just one hand so it's got a function on there so if you hold the the joystick forward for five seconds it then automatically goes straight until you tell it to do something else um, you can adjust left and right as it's going out and then it's also got a trigger at the um, at the top of it which if you hit the trigger it just cuts it off and it stops it instantly so um, it's a lovely little boat I don't want to go too much into it I haven't used it too much we might do a bit more in-depth uh, review on it when we've used it a bit more um, this is probably the second session I've used it and um, like I said I've used it once for carping for 48 hours and I've used it on today's session and um, so far so good I really do recommend it it's a lovely little bit of kit and um, if you're looking at getting into using bait boats you don't want to spend too much money 200 quid you can't really go wrong and if you've got a mate you go fishing with split it 50 50 and then you know if you don't go out together you can just sort of swap it between you and um yeah saves you uh, having to spend a whole lot but um yeah it's a lovely little bit of kit we highly recommend it so um if you're interested check out uh future carping and um have a look for yourself the uh actor bait boat if you like these videos then please subscribe to the channel also follow us on our instagram at the fishing bloggers and we do have a facebook page the fishing bloggers tv until next time get out there and have a few and uh, maybe give a bait boat a go